hello good afternoon everyone this is valerie in here now i'm about ready to take you to my garden to show you flowers that i have in my garden that attract butterflies that will be sure to do the same for you now you i am starting in my veggie garden this garden we put in just this summer yeah summer 2021 okay so the first plant that i'm gonna show you is the french marigold now the french marigold starts blooming around about mid summer and it will give you color in your garden into the fall now i have them throughout the garden because i want to use them to attract pollinators in the garden now just a plug if you want some of my french marigold you can go check my etsy store out <laughs> this um this fall i have them in the store this fall so you can get them and get them ready for planting next summer okay my etsy store is called shop frugal finds that's s-h-o-p-p-e f-r-u-g-a-l-f-i-n-d-s shop frugal finds to get some of these lovely french marigold seeds now i have them throughout the garden because apart from butterflies hey check this out this is a moth that's actually enjoying this marigold bloom now let's keep moving on because the next plant in the garden i want to show you and this garden we call the monarch garden because we have this spot at the back here for the monarchs because it has the milkweed so milkweed is another plant you may want to incorporate in your garden this is a common milkweed um you may want to incorporate it if you want to attract especially monarch butterflies because monarch butterflies actually lay their eggs on the leaves of the milkweed plant here okay a side note you have to make sure though if you do oh check this out there is a caterpillar mona caterpillar you would think that they're all gone now because i noticed that the butterflies seem to have started flying south because we don't have maybe just a couple monarch butterflies we have around the garden right now but obviously we still have monarch caterpillars and actually over there is let me show it to you a monarch chrysalis this one seems to be in a hurry to get going because that looks like a very small chrysalis but nonetheless yeah monarch butterflies lay their eggs on milkweed plants and milkweed milkweed plants are actually um you gotta be careful with them because they are very prolific and they will spread by the root and through the seed pods now these are the seed pods that are left over after the blooms have expired and usually they bloom during the earlier parts of the summer okay a pretty pink flower it gives so you may want to remove the seed pods before they open you may also want to put a perimeter at the base so that the roots don't infiltrate areas that you don't want them to be in another plant that will attract pollinators such as the butterflies into your garden is actually the golden rod now i must let you know also that the golden rod can be quite prolific from all those seeds so be very careful and they add color 
and they attract the butterflies but you have to be careful they don't take over your garden this area they can always take over because it has the milkweed for the butterflies this is actually the butterfly area okay so let's move on out of the veggie garden into the front gardens and we are going next to the native garden now the native garden is a garden where we have lots of plants that are native to ontario like the echinacea and the black-eyed susan now this echinacea is one that will actually attract butterflies for you in the garden and the the monarch butterflies actually they love the echinacea too just as much as they love the milkweed the milkweed is their host plant so to speak because that's where they lay their eggs but usually when they hatch there i notice they're all over the echinacea blooms that start somewhere around mid-summer okay so that's the echinacea and let's move on to another plant that will actually attract butterflies for you and i have them uh, throughout the garden and this one here that we're going to be looking at is actually potted in some barrels i took from the city when we were moving to the countryside and this is the ornamental onions they are they attract so many bees and so many butterflies you want to make sure that you have them in your garden they too are quite prolific because you see all these little heads beautiful little heads that look like pom-poms they have thousands of seeds in them and if you leave them to expire to dry out and they will actually reproduce but they're very easy to take out of the soil yeah so this is the ornamental onions and yeah we have more marigold throughout the garden here so we've spoken about the french marigold we've spoken about the common milkweed the golden rod and now we are on to the ornamental onions which we actually do have over here too and we have more marigolds all along here and of course we have echinacea and over here we have more of the ornamental onions because of course we want to have lots of butterflies and bees in the garden another plant is this stone crop this sedum this sedum will also attract butterflies for you over here we have the obedient plant the obedient plant is very good at attracting butterflies also so we have the french marigold the common milkweed the golden rod the ornamental onions the sedum or the stone crop and now we have the obedient plant these are all perennial plants they will come back year after year but one thing you have to be careful of is those seeds because they will reproduce themselves for me it doesn't matter because i want to have flowers all over throughout the property so what i do is move them from one area to the next so i don't have to buy more flowers the plant i want to show you that i have in my garden that attracts butterflies is the hollyhock the hollyhock starts blooming somewhere after mid summer and it blue it blooms until around the end of the summer now mine are pretty close to their blooming period and then you get lots and lots of 
seeds. I'm, I must tell you that the hollyhock is a biennial plant. Therefore, if you want to get the hollyhock to bloom, you have to plant it one summer. It goes through that summer, it doesn't bloom. And then the next summer when it comes back, if you're living in um, a country where there is winter like we do in Canada, then when it comes back the second year, then it will bloom and give you beautiful flowers, a pop in your garden, and butterflies all around. Now, until next time, thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit the um, bell button for notifications of new videos. And the plants that I've named here and shown here are the ones that are in bloom right now in the garden. There are some that are not in bloom that do attract butterflies too. So I'll just put a list at the end of the video. Okay, so thanks again so much for supporting us because there is no us without you. Blessings.